Hi, I'm Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Once sperms are absent in an ejaculate, it is termed as azoospermia and we have seen this in many of our videos. In such a case, hormonal evaluations are performed to see if there is a likelihood that sperms are being produced in the testis but not being transported and therefore they are not present in the ejaculate. So these procedures are termed as testicular extraction procedures of sperm. There are several types of testicular extraction procedures and they can be used to retrieve sperm from testis for use in assisted reproductive techniques such as ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It's a type of IVF wherein a single sperm is taken and injected into an egg, thereby increasing your chances of fertilization, embryo production and therefore pregnancy rates as well. Let's try to look at the different types of testicular sperm retrieval procedures. Testicular sperm aspiration also called as TSA is a procedure which involves insertion of a needle directly into the testis to aspirate fluid and tissue that may contain sperm. Then there is TC, testicular sperm extraction. This involves the surgical removal of a small piece of a testicular tissue from which sperms can be extracted. We have PSA, percutaneous epididymal sperm aspiration, so also called as PSA, P-E-S-A. This procedure involves the insertion of a needle directly into the epididymis. It's a structure that stores sperms around the testis to aspirate fluid and tissue that may contain sperm. We have micro TC. It's called as micro dissection testicular sperm extraction. This procedure involves the use of a microscope to identify and extract sperm containing tissue from the testis whereby we can minimize the damage to surrounding tissue as well. The choice of the procedure will depend on numerous factors such as underlying cause of infertility, the presence and quality of sperm in the ejaculate, the preferences of the couple and their fertility specialist and like I said hormonal evaluation is also very important. It's very important to discuss the options the risks, the benefits associated with each procedure with a qualified fertility specialist or a urologist before proceeding with the procedure. If you have been diagnosed with azoospermia or have very poor quality or quantity of sperms in your ejaculate, you want to consider a testicular extraction of sperms, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.